guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Da Sylvia On, a Nigerian YouTuber living in Onita. If this is your first time tuning in, you are welcome. You are highly welcome. So please just go to the subscribe button and hit the subscribe button because this is an interesting channel. Here we cook. This is our first time cooking. We dance and we have so many interesting videos to show you and we are here to put on each of my city in the map okay so for my ogs my subscribers my returning subscribers that have been with me that have been watching me grow that are growing with me i just want to say thank you for staying with me thank you so much god bless you so guys today we are in my kitchen we are here to make our Igbo delicacy. Ofaako, as in the real Ofaako. No, the Kango or no, the real one. We are going to make it from the scratch. So, if you are interested in watching how we make Ofaako in Anambra State, stay tuned and stay glued. Mwah. When you want to cook Ofaako, the first thing that you reach for is the apple. Yeah. As the name implies, ofaku, you know that the major ingredients is the ingredient is the apple. This is apple. Second thing to use is meat. Very important. I mean, who, who cooks ofaku without meat? So meat is the next one. See my own. On a sugodi potopoto. Yeah. And the other things you reach out for. Uh you see these ones. <laughs> They are the main deal, as in if you want to cook a native of Apple without all those ones that they just pack it. This is the main thing. This is Orima, guys. This is the secret that you need, the secret ingredients that you need to put in your Apple. And this one is Ehuru. This is Ogirio Bay. I don't know why I forgot the names of these two. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe because I want to make a video. Village people now decided to remove the names from my head. But if I remember the names, I'm going to put them in the description box. So, this one is smoked catfish. Guys, dry fish is important in Ofaku. It gives this taste, this native taste that you will enjoy. And this is seasoning cubes. I prefer no. Then crayfish, pepper, salt, my vegetables. This is in chow or aribwe. Some people call it aribwe. Some people call it in chow. Then this is ogo. I don't know. Some people don't like to use ogo. But I prefer using two. Some use in chow. Some use ogo. But I prefer using the two. And that I know they don't look fresh. Okay. These things, they have been here for like three days. And I prepared to make this video three days ago. But your girl has been sick. And this is ice fish. Yeah, I'm going to fry them. I just want to show you guys before I start frying. So, these are the things that I used to make my ofaku. So, we are now going to start pounding the apple. Whenever I want to extract my oil, I don't normally just wash it and pour it into the pot. I used to put it in a pot another pot before i now pour it into the major pot that i'm using to cook because when you are pounding these palm fruits you can break the palm kernel and when you break it sometimes the sediments they tend to get into the the palm oil that you are supposed to use to cook so i used to pour mine here first then I will slowly pour it into the major pot that I'm using to cook so it will not the segments will not pour into this place. So let's get started. We are going to extract our apple now. And guys, if you are cooking off apple, 
and maybe you finish pounding the the palm fruit but you didn't start extracting the oil on time make sure you use hot water this is hot water i'm not going to use only hot water i'm going to put a generous amount of hot water in fact i'm taking the ones my hand can take because it is too hot <laughs> Your girl who like to go to hospital and you mix it with cold water. So this is the cold water. I'm putting in the cold water now. Yeah. So you start extracting. When you're working, you make sure that the oil is coming out. Like there is no oil left in it. I'm done extracting this one now. I'm pouring it into the pot. Just like I said before, I don't just pour it into the pot that I will use to cook the ofa. I'll first of all pour it into a separate pot, then transfer it. So guys, I just finished extracting the oil from the kernel. And these are the things that the sediments, the particles that I was talking about, the ones that I got from the oil I, I extracted. You have to cook it till this oil starts showing at the top. That's when you know that it's now okay for you to start adding your ingredients. So, the dry fish. Because I want it to cook till it's tender. So, I'll be adding my dry fish my dry fish to the pot the next thing that i'm going to add is my orema obey pepper and ehuru and the two ingredients that i told you guys that i can't remember their names i pounded everything together in this mortar and i'm going to be putting them in the pot i use hunger Hunger classic to cook my own ofapo. Some people add beni too, but you know all these ingredients you add as you want. But I use hunger classic whenever I'm cooking ofa. Made a mess on the wall with these onions. Guys, I'm adding the seasoning cubes. I'm using no. The quantity you use depends on the size of the stew or the soup. Add salt to taste, okay? I'm now going to add my meat. I'm going to add my meat. Can you see oil? Can have fresh palm oil. I know I added onions before, but if I'm cooking no falco, I like to add nchong and onions later i don't know it gives so one sort of taste that i can't just explain here for those that normally use only nchong this would be the last thing they will add to the stew but me i use ogo and nchong i just prefer using everything hi i can't wait to devour this one after like two three minutes of adding the scent leaf i am now back to add the ugu leaves and these with this we are done so this is the end of the video i just hope that i was able to teach you how to cook ofapo this is the way i prepare it okay this is the best way to prepare ofapo the anambra way okay and if you want to cook ofapo don't miss all those little little ingredients that i showed you guys so guys if this is your first time tuning in i just want to ask you to please go to the subscribe button and subscribe to support your girl okay you have to support your girl because if you support me i'll be able i'll be motivated to do more videos like this okay and for my subscribers i want to thank you for staying with me god bless you thank you so much i want to wish you all a blissful week okay so have 
nice week and enjoy your week. Mwah.